Hey guys, it's Lee. Welcome back to my channel. Um, and as you will have seen from the last video, I'm currently in the US on a surprise visit to see Melissa for her birthday. So yeah, big kudos for Dale for helping me um, arrange it and keep it a secret, which we did successfully do. Um, <clears throat> and yes, I've been sent away with um, a bag of goodies that Melissa had boxed up ready to send me, um, which were edibles, snacks, um, goodies and treats that basically um, she thought I might like for the rest of my visit because on Friday I'm heading over to Cleveland for a few days before then heading down to Pittsburgh um, for another few days before flying back to the UK next Friday. And I'm just conscious of the fact I don't really know where to look um, at the camera because I'm on my iPad and while I'm used to looking at a camera um, at home top middle of the screen on my iPad it's kind of like middle left um, round about here. So yes, um, I thought seeing as I won't be receiving this in the post as I was handed it I would just kind of go through a few bits that Melissa very kindly got me and also I've been sent away following the last video on the little um, tea surprise pack thing. Um, Melissa sent me away with an assortment of other tea bags which is really cool. Sorry that must remember the camera is there. So yeah first up was a box of Sonic Ocean Water. So ocean water is, um, we did, um, look, um, take the iconic taste of sonic ocean water on the go, wherever you go. Um, each box contains six drinks. Um, I thought I saw where it said what flavour it was. Um, no, I think it's just the picture is coconut, lemon and lime. So look forward to trying those on my travels. Um, there, was another, there was another box. Um, and this is Pete H2O from the makers of Stir. And this is um, blackberry grape, uh, high caffeine energy drink. So that might be good for my onward journey because I think from here to Cleveland is about two and a half hours and Cleveland to Pittsburgh is about three hours or so. Then we've got some edible goodies. <coughs> so we have a Wicked Foods Spicy Coconut and Rice Noodles. Um, noodles in a fragrant coconut, ginger, lime and chilli broth with mushrooms and cilantro. So I will probably keep these for next week. Um, yeah, just for um, nice little snack. Then we've got Beyond Churros. So these are salted caramel. Um, enjoy with coffee, tea, milk or ice cream. So this says Beyond Churros are a unique, delicious and decadent way to treat yourself and your family. Our inspiration is classic churros and chocolate, which is enjoyed in many countries. Traditional churros are made with wheat flour and eggs before they're fried and dusted with sugar and cinnamon. Not ours. Beyond Churros combines the amazing taste of this time-honoured favourite with revolutionary plant-based multi-grain ingredients. We bake them to crunchy perfection and fill them with a creamy non-dairy chocolate filling for an exceptional snacking experience. So go ahead and ch chase your cravings. So hmm, I'm sure they will be nice later on. Just grab a drink. Yeah, so my hotel, I do have a coffee maker now. That's a whole nother story. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, 
coffee and paper cups, not the best, but coffee bags, ground coffee, it's decent coffee at least. And we have the GFB Gluten Free Brothers Coconut and Cashew. So they look really good. So crisp, chewy, buttery and complete protein. If our coconut cashew bites grew on trees, it would be in, or I'd be out in the woods every day. Mm. Technically, Elliot, both ingredients do come from trees, but neither one is in our neck of the woods. Lucky for us, I've got a guy. So these do sound really good. Uh, coconut and cashew bites. Then we have these ones I really like the sound of. Uh, Mexican Wedding. Um, doesn't say made with almond flour and coconut oil. Let's see. I'm going to try these now because I'm really intrigued. They're really good. Pop those down there, stop eating them all. <clears throat> then the last of the edibles, we have made good cookies, snickerdoodle flavor, but these contain nutrients from vegetables. So I've just realized I keep looking up there where the timer is because that's where the camera is at home. Must remember it's there. So this contains nutrients from vegetable extracts, good source of vitamin C and D. So um, vegetable extracts include spinach, broccoli, carrot, tomatoes, beets and shiitake mushrooms. These are the ones I should have actually tried, which I will now. Let's see what they like. Ooh, this, they actually smell quite good. And they look good. Mmm. I think <coughs> I think I expected them to taste like vegetable. They don't. They've got a slight earthiness to them. Almost like you get from a protein powder. It's really good. <clears throat> and then Melissa also gave me some of her Teddy Bee's hot pie. Um, <clears throat> she has kindly shared a load of her Teddy Bee stuff with me. Um, and yeah, I am shipping some stuff home. And I included the um, like little samples of the Game of Thrones waxes that she had. But this one meant that because of the weight limit, this didn't fit, so I actually brought this one with me. So this is Teddy Bee's Hot Pie, and it's Palo Santo, Sugar Donuts, Hint of Chai, and Dash of Pink Chiffon. And I know what this smells like because I've smelled it for ages at her house, and it's, oh, it's so nice. It's kind of slightly sweet, but definitely chai spice. And like the smoky woody notes of the uh, Palo Santo. And yeah, there is there is actually glitter on the top of this, if you can see there. So yes, and um, oh, such a good scent. That is really good. <coughs> So yes, I come over to visit Melissa for her birthday and I get a load of goodies. And speaking of which, um, Melissa picked up some rice crackers and dark chocolate hummus, which I've only ever had in restaurants. And it was really, really nice. And she sent me home, well, home, excuse me, back to the hotel with what was left. So I've got that. Um, to have another evening um, 
and probably over the weekend because I'll be like somewhere else so I won't be seeing her after tomorrow evening um, but yeah so this is I think this is probably the first time using my iPad um, and Melissa very kindly showed me how to edit um, using iMovie on my phone so I'm hoping it's on my iPad as well and I'm acutely aware that I'm now rambling. So I will wrap this up. Um, do forgive the hideous curtains behind me. And yeah, I will check in again sometime soon. Uh, probably when I'm back in the UK now, um, which will be, I land on Saturday the 2nd of November. So another week and a bit. So yeah, until I'm back in the UK, uh, look after yourselves and I'll catch you then. Bye.